police videos of the fatal shooting of an African American man last night. Or approaching of Muslims as some kind of horrible threat. Murders, crime, drugs pouring across the border. We need to build a wall. Comparing the dog attacks at Standing Rock to the violent crackdown against civil rights. Well, I'd say that my dilemma in the art world is that I'm a painter, maybe even of history, but I certainly paint what is around me. A lot of people pigeonhole me as a political artist because I've done political paintings, but uh, I have as much interest in portraits, in still lives, uh, outdoor painting. So every painting I do, I feel, has a message. This project caught my uh, fancy mainly because of the political um, situation and I was able to incorporate the, the, the entire Donald Trump fiasco in this one uh, mural. This is the painting and the title is Fin del Mundo. I chose a Spanish title because of the insults that Donald Trump has made against Spanish speaking people around the world and in particular, the Mexicans. When I was commissioned to do The End of the World, I was not aware myself of how many chaotic things, how many distressing things there are to deal with in today's world. Whether you're going to a nuclear proliferation, whether you're going to the privatization of water, all these issues end up, in this painting anyway, into the hordes of people going into hell. If I wanted to end on a more or less positive note. Right here where I have the keep out, no Muslims, that was, those are Trump's words. I added on the N-O a K and a W, so it's K-N-O-W, Muslims. And I think that is, is a good way to uh, offset what Trump is trying to say.